is Kathy Schnegevites. I'm president and CEO of the Santa Barbara Conference and Visitors Bureau and Film Commission. And it's a pleasure to be here to open this press conference this morning and certainly to be part of the buzz that surrounds the festival. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge a few people. Um, certainly, we have Mayor Blaine Schneider, who is a huge supporter of our festival. Mayor Schneider. And also Hotel Santa Barbara, who are, is the headquarters for the festival this year, and particularly Nadine Turner, who's the director of sales. Nadine's over there. And as all of you know, Santa Barbara is a world-class tourism destination. And since its inception, the film festival has showcased our community's vibrant cultural scene and beautiful setting to a very influential audience. And the impact has continued to grow each year. Tourism in Santa Barbara County is a $1.35 billion industry, and we, the Santa Barbara Conference and Visitors Bureau and Film Commission, are the primary tourism marketing agency. But a chief uh, overriding goal has been to build our winter business, and certainly our partnership with the Santa Barbara International Film Festival and the Santa Barbara Downtown Organization, as you'll hear shortly, are key to this effort. Today, in particular, I'd like to applaud the excellence of this festival, which is the reason why we're all here today as well. And speaking of partnerships, I'd like to now introduce Ashley Davis, who is the marketing manager of the downtown organization, who will be presenting the details of Film Feast this year, another example of an excellent partnership. Ashley? Thank you, Kathy. My name is Ashley Davis. I'm the marketing director for the Santa Barbara Downtown Organization. Today I'm proud to announce the return of Film Feast this year. It's a collaborative dining promotion presented by the Santa Barbara Downtown Organization as well as the Santa Barbara Conference and Visitors Bureau and Film Commission. Um, the Film Feast will coincide with the 11 days of the Film Festival and is also a part of California Restaurant Month. Um, this year, the Film Feast participants will offer special three-course tasting menus for filmgoers to enjoy before or after a film. Most of the locations are within the downtown corridor, but there are some scattered um, participants in surrounding Santa Barbara locations, as well as in San Inez Valley. Um, we have 29 restaurants this year. It's a combination of restaurants, lounges, and tasting rooms. Um, what's unique to the conference or to the film piece this year is that many of the participants will be theming their menus to the ambiance of their restaurant or the cuisine that they offer there. Um, a few examples, Olio Limon will be having La Dolce Vita, Opal Restaurant and Bar will have like water for chocolate. Um, so that's something that you really want to take advantage of while you're out watching films. We also have a film sleeps component to film feast. So there are 19 local hotels that are offering special packages and room rates for film goers to sort of linger longer while they're here in Santa Barbara. Um, some of those hotels include the Bacara Resort and Spa, the Biltmore, um, Hotel Santa Barbara, and several others. Um, we will be having a launch party to show some previews of what's to come in Film Feast this year, and that will be next Tuesday, January 10th. It will be held at the Wine Pass from 5 to 6.30, so all of the press is invited to come and join us. Uh, we'll also be blogging about Film Feast this year and our experiences as we're out dining and viewing films, so you'll want to be tracking those. Um, you can find all of that information at our website, sbfilmfeast.com. Uh, all of the complete menu details will be there, as well as um, participant information. Um, we also will be having these rack cards. Um, you can find them at tables here this morning, but they'll be scattered throughout the participant locations um, and hotels. So it has a complete list of participants on the back. Uh, it's a great resource to have with you. Uh, so that, that's it for Film Feast. I'd now like to introduce Roger Derling, um, Executive Director of the Santa Barbara. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is uh, the 27th edition of the Santa Barbara Film Festival, and um, this is my 10th year working as the head of the film festival, my ninth edition. Um, 
I actually have not said this out loud. Um, I feel as excited um, as I did my first year when I took over. Um, this year I feel extremely stoked and revitalized. Um, I really feel like this is a brand new year um, for us. There's quite a lot of changes, a lot of tinkering with the old formula, and um, I feel like a brand new man today. Um, that said, um, I would like to bring Barbara Boris, uh, who for the past nine years have been designing our poster, and I would like to, for her to unveil it. This is the 27th poster of the Santa Barbara Film Festival. Now, good job, Barbara. I normally don't explain posters, um, uh, but the, what I love about this piece is that, you know, in the past we have always, Barbara has always, and I have always wanted to showcase the Santa Barbara landmark to go with the poster. Um, of course, this year, David Asbell, the executive director of the Libero Theater is back there. We have always used the Libero. This year is gonna be even more of a hub. Um, for the film festival, and then um, you know we you, we we wanted to. Um, um, Saul Bass is one of the greatest uh, you, uh, designers of open credits for movies. Um, you've all seen Psycho, of course, and um, and so we wanted to recreate the feel of Saul Bass opening credits. And then I've always loved Paul Wellman. Uh, the photographer of the, of the Independent, and you know, we took the liberty of adding a hat to Paul. And speaking of, of Paul, there he is. So, um, um, this, we're very excited about this poster. Um, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. What a lovely lady. To say this. Our, our own general director. Um, so, the festival. You all read already, we are opening uh, with Darling Companion, uh, which is directed by Loris Kasten, the great director who brought us The Big Chill and brought us Grand Canyon, Body Heat, amongst um, other films. And uh, it'll be um, our opening night film at the Arlington. Uh, Diane Keaton stars in the film, Kevin Klein, among others. And uh, the, we will um, be hosting uh, Mr. Kastan for the opening weekend of the festival. And we'll be doing a retrospective of, of his work, including, yes, Body Heat, The Big Chill, and Grand Canyon. Uh, the closing night film is a, a foreign film. It was the Toronto Audience Award winner uh, this past festival. Uh, it's called Where Do We Go Now? Uh, directed by Nadine Labaki from Lebanon. And um, it's a comedy musical. And I've seen it, and it's one of the greatest crowd pleasers. Um, I've seen it in a long while. Um, things that are new to this festival this year is that we're going to have an acquisitions program. Um, the first weekend of the festival, we are outreaching to, and we'll be hosting uh, several acquisitions uh, companies throughout um, uh, the Los Angeles area. Uh, you know, we're going to have Lionsgate, uh, Weinstein Company, Sony Pictures Classics here for the first time, and, and um, the city of Santa Barbara will be hosting and will be show. I mean, we'll be showing the films that we have at the festival for actively trying to, um, you know, to sell a film and get distribution. <laughs> which is a pretty exciting um, project for us this year. Um, we got a grant uh, from the Academy of Motion Pictures uh, for Film Trip to the Movies, which uh, has been our pride and joy for the past uh, 10 years. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar for fil for, uh, about Film Trip to the Movies. It's where at the Arlington Theater, we bring in about 5,000 kids from Title I schools, and um, we buzz them in and out, 
and uh, we showcase films for them. So usually we have a major filmmaker doing a master class with uh, third graders to sixth graders. Thanks to this grant from the Academy of Motion Pictures, which is great validation for us. Um, three years ago, we were able to get James Cameron, and he did a master class and taught kids how um, his underwater explore, exploration led to his film, his making of Avatar. Last year, we had Lee Unkrich, the director of Toy Story 3, and did a similar program with the kids. Um, I all encourage all the press to come and see our program uh, for those kids. This year, we have uh, Gord Burbinski, the director of all the and most of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, at least the first one, and this year he has the animated film Rango. So he'll be uh, leading that master class with kids at the Arlington. Tributes. Um, our tribute, uh, you've already probably seen most of the announcements. The modern master this year is uh, the great Christopher Plummer. Uh, and um, what's really interesting, extremely exciting for me about Christopher Plummer being the mother master is that the character which he will be nominated for Best Supporting Actor in the movie Beginners was written and directed by Mike Mills. And it was about, his, the movie is autobiographical about his father, Paul Mills. And I hope that most of you in, in this room know who Paul Mills was. He, um, he was quite a character, a uh, very talented man that ran the Museum of Art here in Santa Barbara. So it's very unique for us to have the mother master, this actor that is bound to win the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, uh, a legend in theater and film, and is actually portraying a character that was um, uh, uh, here in Santa Barbara. Um, and the, the Mother Master is sponsored by our leading sponsor, our presenting sponsor, Linda.com. And I cannot thank Linda and Bruce uh, from Linda.com um, uh, enough because they have been such amazing supporters of the film festival. Um, the Outstanding Performance Salute will be going to Viola Davis, who will get nominated for Best Actress for her role in The Help. And, um, and that is presented this year by a brand new sponsor, the Shoe Match Casino. And they have been extremely generous for us and, and we're, we're grateful as well. The American Riviera Award, as you know, is going to a little known director uh, called um, Martin Scorsese. And um, this year he'll be Oscar nominated for his in innovative 3D film, Hugo. And, um, and that, that is being sponsored by another brand new uh, sponsor this year, Bridalwood, who's also stepped up to the plate and, and it's been very generous to us. And um, then the Cinema Vanguard, which is sponsored by a returning uh, uh, partner of the festival, Uggs. Uh, Ugg, I'm not wearing my Uggs today, but um, uh, uh, Ugg Australia is sponsoring the Cinema Vanguard and it's our salute to the film The Artist, Jean Dujardin and Berenice Bejot, who are both going to be nominated for the Oscar. Uh, you're going to have to take my word on this. Uh, um, and then the one tribute that you have not heard about is the Virtuoso Award. And this year the Virtuoso Award is, uh, we're going to include Damien Bashir who was nominated for Best Actor for Screen Actors Guild for A Better Life. Uh, Patton Oswalt, who is a uh, uh, supporting actor uh, in the movie Young Adult with Charlize Theron. We have Andy Serkis. Uh, Andy Serkis plays Caesar in The Rise of the Planets, uh, Planet of the Apes. He's also Gollum, and he's the original, not the original, but he played King Kong in the Peter Jackson um, remake. Um, Shailene Woodley, who is the co-star in the movie The Descendants uh, with George Clooney, he, she plays his daughter. Um, Melissa McCarthy from Bridesmaids, 
um, and you all remember Melissa McCarthy. Uh, and um, last but not least, uh, stop my beating heart, uh, Rooney Mara, the girl with the dragon tattoo. So this is quite a stellar group of virtuosos. And we're so excited about this group that we normally do this project at the Libero, and we're going to be doing it this year at the Arlington. Um, the film festival. We have 16 world premieres, 37 uh, US premieres. And uh, what I'm really super, I mentioned the word stoked, jazz, excited, rejuvenated, revitalized about this year's festival is that we have five new sidebars. Um, we have tinkered a little bit with the festival. Um, we have a brand new um, um, uh, sidebar. It, it's called Warner Archives. We're going to co be collaborating with, um, with the Warner Brothers Archive um, uh, uh, Department. And, um, and they have a, a digitally remastered, restored uh, version of Ben-Hur, which we're going to be showing. We're also going to be showing uh, uh, Dangerous Liaisons. Um, we actually have the premiere of the restoration of, of uh, Dangerous Liaisons. And, uh, uh, and we're also going to have a Clockwork Orange, uh, which just got, just got restored. And I normally don't ever reveal um, the opening night uh, party theme, but you know, here's a first. Let's let's talk about it today. I'm um, actually a, in celebration of the old Warner Archives restoration. The opening night theme is a Clockwork Orange, and it's actually um, this year is the 40th year, 40th anniversary of a Clockwork Orange. I'm excited about the restoration aspect of the festival and showcasing these films, especially in the year where we're honoring Martin Scorsese. And you all know Martin Scorsese's great love for not just filmmaking, but also the importance, his love for rest, rest, the restoration of films. Now, as I continue talking, I want to, I want to, I didn't talk to them about this. I'm going to bring in the Avengers. Um, my, my programming team, um, the, the, the people that have been helping me out to create all these new different sidebars that we're showcasing this year. Um, one of the new sidebars that we're showcasing is called Kol Noah. Uh, Kol Noah is the Hebrew word for cinema. So we're going to be featuring uh, films that have Jewish and Israeli themes politically, culturally, historically. So if Macy Bernstein, who's, who's the curator, could come out. I know he'd come out. He, where, there he is. Excellent. So Macy Bernstein, I know. Um, we're also, um, in the past, you'll know that Candace Kermerhorn was um, my second uh, right-hand person when it comes to programming. She's got different endeavors this year that she's concentrating on, but she's, I, she can't get rid, get rid of uh, helping me out. So she's actually um, uh, doing the fun for Santa Barbara social justice films. And come on, come on in, uh, Candace. <laughs> Now, there is um, three brand new sidebars other than the Cold Noah that I mentioned in the Warner Archives. Uh, Cinesonic, which is going to be a sidebar featuring um, uh, films about music. Um, the centerpiece of the sidebar called Cinesonic is the commission by us of a, a, a brand new score to a silent film, um, F. W. Murnau's Faust, and uh, the local indie rock band um, Gardens and Villa have been commissioned. Um, to some of the young guys in the room perked up. They went, Whoa! Um, 
Yeah, uh, Gardens and Villa is writing this brand new score to the silent film, and they'll be performing live at the Libero Theater uh, to the to this silent film, and uh, this is part of this new sort of music sarva that we're doing, Cinesonic, and. The curator of that is Michael Albright, the new um, programming manager at the film festival. <laughs> Michael has also um, created this new sidebar uh, called um, Screen Cuisine. Uh, and we're going to be featuring um, films about food and um, uh, yeah, films about food. Yeah, yeah. It's great cuisine. Um, and uh, last but not least, let's bring in um, uh, Mickey uh, Dustovich. And um, he's, he's been working very closely with, um, with um, Michael. And we created this sidebar called Cinema Nouveau, which we're going to be featuring. Um, French films, but created by emerging directors from France. Now, um, I also have to bring up two dear friends of mine who have been also collaborating and for years. Uh, Russ Spencer, uh, who is in charge of the, the To The Max films, the surf films. He also, he also programs all of the Santa Barbara filmmakers as well. And also, let's bring up uh, Mike Degree, who is the gentleman. Excellent, Mike. Come join the Avengers here. Um, Mike, Mike is in charge of all the real nature um, all the real nature films that we showcase at the film festival. Um, ten years ago, you heard, you know, I mentioned, you heard me talk about earlier that ten years ago I um, I took over the film festival, and um, my original idea when I took over the film festival was that I wanted the different sections, the different sidebars of the festival to reflect to become the city of Santa Barbara, to become a mosaic of what the city was like. And, um, and one of the reasons that I'm so charged, I am so passionate and revitalized this year about the film festival is that all of this closed team have created um, a bigger mosaic of what it feels like to be in Santa Barbara as you see the different sidebars of the film festival. We have food, we have music, we have, you know, Kol Noah with Meishi, we have social justice themes, we have real nature, you know, we have to the max. Um, you know, all of these pieces form what I feel is a reflection of what Santa Barbara is about. And not only is this festival about Santa Barbara and for Santa Barbar Barbarians, but it's also to for us to show all the um, outside people that are going to be coming in and seeing what Santa Barbara is all like, uh, are what, what we're all about. And Film Feast and the Santa Barbara Commission, um, the Visitors Bureau, um, you know, we're all working together to welcome you know, 70,000 people that are going to be coming into the city starting January 26th to enjoy our city and our film festival. So with that said, thank you very much, and we'll see you January 26th.